Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the DMI indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched our first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. At the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below. You can also find a link to sign up for TradingView down below. If you use the link below, you will save a little bit of money. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform. On our Discord server, we are having great conversations about all things regarding trading. One of the biggest struggles on this channel is people who use other platforms like MT4 being able to follow along. Sometimes it can be hard to find the indicators we are using on other platforms. And so on our Discord server, I have created a channel for indicator creation. And on that channel, I pinned links to freelancers who can code indicators for MT or for TradingView. So if you don't want to create a TradingView account, you can hire a freelancer for a really small fee and have them code an indicator for the MT platform. Or if you are on TradingView and need an indicator created, something unique or an indicator for a system you have developed, you can also have them code PineScript. So use the link for either MT4 coding or use the link for PineScript. Lastly, I get a lot of people that are asking me for the entire list of all the winning indicators that we have tested to date. And uh, whereas I am not a big uh, proponent of gatekeeping information, I've put a lot of time and effort into creating the content on my YouTube channel. And so I don't think it is too much to ask for the viewers to go through and view the content that I've spent a lot of time uh, creating. Now, if you are not interested in supporting our channel by going back and watching the content that I have created, then I have uh, developed a solution for you. I've created a Patreon account. I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you sign up for Patreon and you sign up for the $9 a month account, I will send you the full list of tested and winning indicators to date. I will also send you an updated list of the indicators that we are testing at the end of each week. Now, of course, you have to stay subscribed to the $9 uh, subscription, monthly subscription, to continue to receive the updated list of indicators. But that way, it will provide me with the support that I need to continue to provide the free uh, content that I am putting out for everybody to view. Now, if you just love the channel in general and want to support us, then there is also a lower, uh, I think, $3 Patreon subscription that you can sign up for that will also help support the channel and keep things going so that way I can continue to produce the content and the open information that we are creating here in this channel and in our Discord server. Again, if you have not signed up for our Discord, then you need to do that as well. It is a absolutely free platform where we have real-time ability to chat and have conversations about trading. And again, if you want to support the channel with Patreon, then you can find the link down below in the description. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the DMI indicator. 
But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So, to date, we have tested 192 indicators. And out of those 192 indicators, 77 of them have been winners. Which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 77 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, so today's indicator. Before we get into today's indicator, uh, I just wanted to mention that, um, you know, we have tested quite a few indicators on the channel at this point. And like I just said, we have come up with quite a few winning indicators. Now, keep in mind that, um, you know, a reasonable amount of those indicators that are winning indicators need to be back tested a little bit more thoroughly to really solidify whether or not they are going to be a you know, really good indicator or not. But regardless of that, there is still a good number of the 77 indicators that we have tested up to this point that um, are definitely going to be profitable indicators. And so um, it might take a little bit of legwork from, uh, you know, those of you out there, those you know, the viewers out there who are looking for, you know, profitable indicators it might take a little bit more work, a little bit more back testing, a little bit more forward testing to uh, really get to a point where you can say, you know, this indicator or that indicator, uh, you know, really works. And, and in some instances, it is also you know, may, may be a matter of your personality. Some, you know, indicators may work, you know, oddly enough, I know it sounds strange, but some indicators might work with your personality better than other indicators. And this is something that you'll, you know, kind of discover as you are playing with the indicators, testing them, see how they work, and, you know, forward testing and back testing them a little bit more you'll find that some you know just kind of you feel good about them and some you don't again it's it's odd it's strange that you know that's even a thing but it definitely is every person every trader has their own personality kind of their own style and you know you will find that indicators you know kind of fit or they don't but with that being said um, you know, I've definitely drastically narrowed down the amount of indicators at this point that you need to test before you can really pinpoint some, some good indicators. And so the easiest thing to do is to just make a list of the winning indicators that we have tested here on the channel and, um, you know, put a percentage, a win rate percentage next to each indicator and the number of trades and then start with the indicators that have the highest number of trades with the highest win rate and start playing with them and working with them testing them you know it's going to take a little bit of work but you know that's what you have to do you have to put in some work to get something out of you know what you're doing out of trading now later on down the road as we refine this indicator list 
and scrutinize the winning list a little bit more. Obviously, you know, things will change and, you know, we're, we will narrow in on a smaller list of overall indicators from there. But for now, if you are just looking for, you know, indicators that are going to make you money, we have tested, you know, a good deal of indicators that will definitely make you money. And so, like I said, it just takes a little bit of extra work for you to go back, you know, watch those videos, list them out, and start playing with the ones that are, you know, the highest win rates with the highest number of trades, and tweaking them a little bit, playing with them, and, you know, goofing around. And before you know it, you will have a strategy that can, you know, definitely make you a profitable trader. That's no doubt. The overall, the overall goal of what we are attempting to do here, though, is to maximize our earning potential. And so we don't want to just break even. We don't want to just make, you know, a, a measly 1% return, 2% return. We want to maximize our return potential. And so that way we can really start to grow our accounts or we could... Uh, you know, get into a prop trading firm or, you know, what have you, the, you know, the, uh, you know, potential is limitless. And so uh, the, the point of what we're trying to achieve here is to really maximize the profits. And so uh, that's what I set out to do when I, you know, started this channel. I really want to see how good we can dial in a system and how good we can make it so that way uh, everybody can be profitable like myself and like many other people out there even you know new viewers to the channel have told me that you know just by watching my videos and playing with the indicators that we have listed uh, you know I've been able to uh, you know turn them into profitable traders and that's you know that's our ultimate goal here is for everybody to be profitable first and foremost and then from there to maximize your profit so with that being said let's look at today's indicator uh, it is the DMI the directional uh, movement indicator and you can see it here on the bottom of the screen I've looked at it a few times, and honestly, I thought I had made a video about this indicator, but it dawned on me that I had not. Uh, and that's because there was a discussion going on in the Discord server. If you don't know, Discord is a uh, free uh, group communication type platform where people can have real-time discussions about things. And... Ours is about trading and indicators and so on. And one of the members on there had mentioned the DMI and using it. And um, it it dawned on me that, um, you know, maybe I needed to go in and test another version of it. But then, like I said, I realized that I'd never actually tested it in the first place, at least not on video. I'd pulled it up quite a few times. I've looked at it many times. I know I have, and I know that I've played around with it many times. But for some odd reason, I never tested it. And so, that obviously prompted me to make today's video on the DMI. Again, you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. At first glance, it looks rather intimidating. Uh, there is um, obviously not, there's not a lot going on with it, but despite the fact that it's only three lines, there is a rather uh, difficult look to the indicator. And so once we dissect it a little bit, you'll find that it is actually rather simple to understand. So the first thing I'm going to do is in my classic fashion, I'm going to go in and I'm going to make a few modifications. These are just 
color modifications. These are not uh, modifications to the settings. Now, I will say that in the discussion on the Discord server, it was said that on a different setting that this will uh, do better, or at least it's the setting that was preferred by uh, one of the members on the Discord server that was uh, talking about the DMI. So, uh, but to stay true to the channel, I'm going to test it on its normal default settings, except for the colors, of course, and I bumped up the line weight. But other than that, the, um, the settings behind it are all the same. The inputs, 14 and 14. Uh, if you are interested in knowing more about uh, the DMI and how it's used on different settings, you're welcome to jump into the Discord server and dig around a little bit, uh, look at the conversation, and uh, you know that will give you more information on the settings that the uh, user recommended. Beyond that, so we have... Uh, basically a green line, a red line, and a black line. So the green line and the red line are indicating whether or not we are in a downtrend or whether or not, I guess, price action is um, bullish or bearish, I guess is a better way to uh, say it. Then we have the uh, black line here. And it is the uh, ADX line. And so that tells us when we are in a trend or a ranging market. The DI, the plus DI is for a uh, bullish uh, market or a, a bullish momentum. And the negative DI is bearish momentum in the market. So uh, one more thing that we do have to add is a line right at the 25 mark. And what this will do is it will give us a, uh, a threshold or kind of a zero line cross if you will, uh, telling us when the uh, market is in a trend. So we have the black line, the ADX line, and that is the line that is telling us when we are in a trending market or a ranging market. So when it is above the 25 marker, it is in a trending market. And then at that point, we will look at whether the red line is above the green or the green line is above the red. Now, there's one extra step that I uh, personally preferred when uh, using this indicator. And that is when the black line first crosses. This is uh, what we are looking for is we are looking for the black line to initially cross. I think I might change the color of this. Make it a little bit easier to see at points when it crosses. So when the black line first crosses up above the purple 25 marker, that is when we are looking to either enter, or, well, that is when we are looking to enter a trade. Uh, beyond that, we are just letting the black line do what it does. Now, when it crosses up above, we want the uh, either the green line or the red line to be above the ADX line. And so this is a little extra step that I uh, kind of put into it to add a little bit more confirmation 
on the um, you know kind of momentum in the either bearish momentum or bullish momentum. So, uh, like I said, that's that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, other ways of trading it is basically when the black line, the ADX line, crosses up above the 25 marker. It doesn't matter where the uh, green and red line are. Whichever one is on top is the direction of the trade that you would take. So as soon as it crossed up above, if the red line is above, you would go short. If the green line is above, you would go long. But again, I found that the uh, red line and the green line can also have a kind of a strength meter to uh, entering the market. So let's go ahead and start playing it out. The video has already gotten to about 20 minutes. And we haven't even started testing yet. So let's go ahead, like I said, and we will play it out. And when we do, we will look at what we're doing a little bit more thoroughly here. So you can see right here, we get our first signal. And, um, you know, I will say that I'm not sure if this is how the user on the Discord server trades this indicator. I know what settings they were referring to, but beyond that, I'm not sure if this is how they specifically trade it or not. Um, this is how I know of the DMI to be traded. And so I'm going off of my knowledge of it. Uh, first and foremost, then, you know, if it can be traded another way, a better way, then by all means, throw it out there in the comments, let everybody know, and we can all learn from it then. So again, we have a cross of the black line over the 25 marker. And when we did the red bearish uh, momentum line was above the black line giving us a really strong sell signal. Now let's go ahead and play it out and see what happens. Unfortunately, that one did not work out in our favor. Turned around pretty quick and took off to the upside. Let's go ahead and keep playing it out here. I think the reason why... Um, I never really stuck with the DMI was that it doesn't give a lot of signals. Again, I've played around with it, um, you know, quite a bit, but I don't think I ever really figured out how to reconcile um, the fact that it doesn't give that many signals in you know, one year's time. So I am all ears if anybody out there knows of a better way, then we could all be more the wiser because of it. So we get our second signal here. The black line, the ADX line, crosses up above the 25 marker and it, um, the green, uh, bullish momentum line is also above the ADX. So that would be a buy signal. And we get to take profit uh, rather decently there. Not too bad. And we'll continue playing on here. And moving along. There we go. We get another cross right there. That is a bearish move. Again, the black line crosses the 25 and the red momentum line is above the ADX telling us we need to go short. And that one works out rather well for us as well. 
So, so far, not too bad. We'll just keep on plugging along here. And like I said, there's, you know, there's a good deal of, you know, visual things happening with this indicator. Uh, there has definitely been other indicators that were way more uh, kind of visually impactful, if you will, than this one. And so in that aspect, you know, it's not too overwhelming. But, you know, the first time I looked at this indicator, I definitely was scratching my head wondering how this thing was meant to be used. How all these lines were meant to work together. And to make matters worse, the way they color them, again, really confusing in, in my mind. I'm sure there are other people out there who you know, we're able to look at it really quickly and figure it out. But for me, I just was not quite able. So it looks like we pick up one more signal here on the backside. All right. There. Looks like we... Yeah, we picked up a short just for a moment. The black line broke up above it for just a second, and at the same time, the red line does appear. Yeah, it was above. Let's see, twenty-five thirty-eight. Red line was at twenty-five forty-six. So, yep, it was above it. And the red line was at 25.38, and so it was above the 25 marker. So, yeah, unfortunately, we did pick up another short right there, and it almost immediately turned around and stopped us out. And so there we have it. That is the DMI. We have four signals, and we have two winners. So well, it's only a 50% win rate, obviously. Did not work out in our favor in this instance. Uh, maybe there is, again, there, there must be something that I am missing here. Something that, um, you know, will allow us to have more signals. I can't imagine that any person would be using this in a consistent trading system and only getting four signals in one year's time. It just doesn't quite seem like that would work too well i could be wrong and i'm not knocking you if if you know if you're able to do that and you're profitable and you're building your account hey that is awesome i you know give you all the props in the world but uh for me it just it doesn't seem like it adds up quite the way it should so again i am all ears in the comment section let me know if this isn't the way you trade it if you trade it a different way and have figured out a way to get more signals out of it and make it more profitable then absolutely uh, throw that out there and let everybody know so that way we can tweak it we can play with it and we can all um, see whether or not it would be a good addition to our trading systems and uh, you know an overall list of good indicators so there we have it at the moment it's going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here if you have not already like this video comment below subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime i post a new video as part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. 
you can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.